You're tuning into Daily Top 10 on your favorite entertainment channel, and we are about to ride you through the most trending news around the globe. At number 10, Beyonce performs her first live show since 2018. Beyonce has taken to the stage for her first performance since 2018 at a private hotel launch event in Dubai and was joined by her daughter, Blue Ivy, at one point for a duet. Many fans were thrilled to see the return of Queen B, but others weren't happy because Dubai has strict laws against same sex relationships. The private concert in Dubai to mark the opening of luxury hotel Atlantis the Royal. Despite a strict no phones policy at the exclusive 1500 seat gig, footage of the show flooded the internet. At number 9, Morpheus is set to join West Ham. Nigeria forward Terry Murphy is set to link up with Premier League club West Ham United for 24 million euros. French publication Masato Plain claimed League One club Lorient have accepted West Ham's United's offer for the player. Murphy was reportedly undecided over a move to the London club, but it seems he is now set to link up with David Moyer's side. At number 8, Skibi reacts to theft allegations. Nigerian musician Abi Toyib Elias, popularly known as Skibi, has responded to allegations of theft made by his ex-girlfriend, who is an actress, Dokas Shola Fapsen, popularly known as Miss DSF, who accused him of stealing from her while the duo was on vacation in Tanzania. Miss DSF narrated how she went on a double vacation with an undisclosed ex-boyfriend in Tanzania and how she was robbed while asleep. According to DSF, she lost a laptop, two phones, ATM card, and some money while on vacation in Zanzibar and while she didn't mention any names, fans were able to deduce she was referring to Skibi. Skibi responded via a press release where his lawyer stated that the vacation was funded by Skibi and has also lost two diamond necklaces, one rose gold, Katia wristwatch, four diamond rings, one iPhone and some amount of money. Like my suitcase is out of where you I left it, it. My, my just everywhere is scattered so my laptop is gone, my phones are gone, my Rolex is gone. My Van Cleef is gone. <laughs> My cards are gone. Uh, 10K cash, gone. Like everything valuable that I came there with was gone. Like the money I collected from Uganda, gone. Like, and it's very specific. So it's very like, they entered my suitcase. Yes, and searched. Searched, like somebody searched. And I'm a light sleeper, I don't sleep heavy. I sleep very light. Like, if you walk into a room and I'm sleeping and you say my name, I'm going to get up. Like, I don't sleep heavy at all. Like, all my friends, family know that. So for somebody to enter the room while I'm sleeping and take my phones, take all my valuables without me even waking, waking up, up, without him waking up or me waking up, it's, it's strange. Yeah. It's, it's, it's almost like, is it a spirit? Like, I was like, I was like, is this a dream? Like, am I dreaming right now? Like, and I'm bugging because I'm like, is, am I, I'm pitching, I'm like, am I awake? Like, is this really happening? At number seven, Teddy Freeze Lord's Bonnie Boy's Untold Good Deed. Popular Nigerian Romanian media personality, Ifedayo or Larinde, popularly known as Daddy Freeze, took to his Instagram page to narrate a short story of what happened and refused to make headlines. An intern journalist reportedly smashed a Panasonic GH6 camera worth $2,000 while rushing to interview Grammy Award winning artist Bonnie Boy. According to Daddy Freeze, the young journalist was in a haste to go interview Bonnie Boy when he spotted him. However, the young journalist fell and smashed his camera worth $2,000. Upon seeing the smashed camera, Bonnie Boy reportedly asked his accountant to take the account details of the young journalist and paid for the destroyed camera. Reacting to the news, media personality Daddy Fields wondered why the story didn't make headlines in Nigeria, saying people were only interested in bashing the singer. He wrote, How come Nigerians won't carry this story not to bash our own Usabi? At number 6, Speed Darlington subtly throws shade at Tunde Ednut. Controversial rapper Speed Darlington has called out Instagram blogger Tunde Ednut as he describes him as a scammer. Speed Darlington further described Tunde Ednut as a field musician and how he has been spending monies on extravagant birthday parties in various states in Nigeria and US. The rapper, after his allegation, called on the Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI, to investigate Tunde Ednut and his businesses. He wrote, Akumo is back up. Yo, any Nigerian excluding me in the music business in the US 
say is most likely a scammer. The guy I'm talking about is named Stance with a T. At number 5, Chidimokeme speaks on battle with incurable disease. Nollywood actor Chidimokeme has been absent from the movie industry and generally the spotlight. Revealed his battle with an incurable disease, but he is now back and trending thanks to his brilliant performance on Shantytown where he played Scar. He was recently interviewed in which he revealed that he was battling Bell's palsy, which is a condition that causes sudden weakness in the muscles on one side of the face. Doctors told him the infection was something that is incurable and didn't have treatment. Colleagues and fans have been hailing that his performance was extraordinary in the movie. Are you this guy? What you doing? Why are you? It's a red eye, red eye in a shanty town. Oh, Every yeah, man wants to get a party down. Yeah. Every girl want to drive the bus like down. Hey, see, Pato. Yeah, see, you know. Nice, young boy. At number 4, second richest man in Asia loses 90% of fortune. Chinese billionaire businessman, former chairman of the board and communist party, secretary of the Evergrande Group, a Chinese real estate developer, Hui Kan Yan, the second richest man in Asia, has lost 90% of his fortune. Hui Kan Yan has seen his net worth plunge from $42 billion at its peak in 2017 to $3 billion as of the time of this report. China Evergrande is the most indebted developer in the world and has been trying to scramble for cash to pay back its $300 billion in liability. Hu Kanyan has tried to stem the tide with his wealth, selling over 7 billion yuan, that is approximately $1.1 billion worth of personal assets to prop up his embattled company, yet the company defaulted on its US dollar bound. Hu Kanyan is the next billionaire to lose a heavy chunk of his net worth after Elon Musk. Elon Musk has lost an estimated of $182 billion since November 2021. At number 3, the federal government has approved 94 digital money lenders. The federal government has approved the operations of 94 companies as digital money lenders in Nigeria. However, only 49 of those digital lenders were given full approval while the remaining 45 got conditional approval. Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission FCCPC disclosed this in an update on its ongoing registration of digital money lenders in the country, an exercise targeted at tackling the menace of unlicensed loan apps, otherwise known as loan sharks. At number 2, NAVDAC ends 4 and a half years drug track. The National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control said it destroyed tramadol and unregistered pharmaceuticals worth 95 billion naira. The NAVDAC Director General, Professor Mojisola Adeyeye, who disclosed this at a press briefing, said the destruction was done in December 2022 after four and a half years of monitoring with the help of government of Benin Republic. The products found in five containers which were said to contain building equipment were tramadol 200 mg and higher strength diclofenac tablets. At number 1, Sound City creates new category for Video of the Year award. Nigerian ace director Tangod Omori Jesame, popularly known as TG Omori, has gotten an award space for music video directors following his call out to Sound City MPV award over their recent nomination list. It was recalled that TG Omori took to his Instagram story to slam Sound City for failing to give music video directors their credits. Recently, Sound City took to Instagram to post a new lineup for the Video of the Year category, this time crediting the directors of the video. We have come to the end of today's edition of Daily Top 10. For more updates and breaking news, kindly follow us on all our social media handles. Thank you for tuning in. Bye for now.